So this is the brand new F4 board. And it comes in packaging like this. And we got it soldered up. And it's soldered. It looks... Uh, let's see you focus a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Some nice solder jobs right there. So, uh, oh yeah, look at that. And then I got... What do we have here? We have a uh, Spectrum satellite hooked up to it. So I noticed some issues uh, with the firmware. This actually comes with a race flight. Um, but in race flight, it was missing a whole bunch of the areas that you need to set up the board. So I found a back door to this board. I'm going to show you it right now. I also tried beta flight with it, and that was a no-go. So we're going to go to clean flight right here. And then I'll show you what's going on. Okay, now we got my computer awake. We're going to plug this guy in. Get some nice lights. Okay, now I have the log showed up here, and this is kind of like what I was getting uh, on and off. Might be a little bit, let me see here, there we go, we got some life. Okay, so I'm showing you the log so you could see controller info identifier, um, this means race flight 16.4, um, Revo. Um, in clean flight was the only way that I would have access to receiver. All right, so this, this is the key thing. I noticed in race flight, I don't know if it's like a spoof with the software that's loaded already on the board. Um, but this wasn't coming up. Uh, but in clean flight, you can go in and you can adjust all these parameters with actually race flight on the board, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to turn on my transmitter here. And I'm going to go up. And uh, there's life. So, also I already configured modes. You got modes. I noticed there's also an Acro Plus mode that would probably be fun to play with. And if you go into configuration, so there's like no multi shot yet in Clean Flight, and you might be able to enable that one feature in Race Flight with this uh, with this board. Uh, and if we go down here, you can just go through. Now to get the Spectrum satellite to work, you need the soft serial on. And that shows you the loop times here. And then if you go up the ports, this is what your ports are going to look like. They had to get the receiver to work. Mm. Uh, let me see. There's no fail safe. So if you press on fail safe, it'll kind of freeze up the system so you get pretty much everything working through clean flight except for the fail safe mode because if you click there you'll get this and I'll just basically sit there and do this forever until you disconnect and shut everything down and then come back into it So, and then I had some uh, issues as far as updating the firmware. I haven't tried updating the firmware on this board um, through Clean Flight, but I tried it through Beta Flight and I couldn't get any firmware to stick. So, at the boot ladder, and you press the button, or all the wonderful stuff that they get firmware onto this board. And I had a no go there. And in the Race Flight, I had downloaded also uh, the hex file. And I couldn't get it to go there either. So it looks like I might just be doing clean flight with this board. 
And then from here, I'm going to go show you the wiring diagram also for the Revo F4, which is also the same as the flip.